Hi YouTubers, it's Mark from Hover Dog Brewery. Welcome to another boring vlog. Right, uh, different location today, not been here for a long time actually. Uh, since I was building the brewery, uh, you know, putting all the heaters and etc. and building the control pan and electrocuting myself three, three times electrocuting myself. Uh, I diverse already. Okay, now when I'm brewing my beer in the single pot, um, I have an issue with the large pot because of its just its size and the induction plate. So I've always planned just to insulate it. So what I'm going to do today is insulate it. See, so I thought it was boring. Right, hold on. So remember back to a very old video. I showed you this stuff. And it's got, it's, it's called a 19 layer duvet blanket and it's insulation for your shed, for your conservatory roof, whatever. And if you remember, it's just like foil and then foam and foil and foam and foil and foam. And foam. Get the idea. Well, when the guys had finished, they left quite a lot of this behind. I've got, I've got a massive piece up here. It's about 12 foot long. Uh, and it's about 1.2 meters wide. So I thought this would be ideal to make into a brew pot uh, insulation jacket. Now the other issue of course is I can cut this, I can wrap it round, so it makes a lot of noise. I can cut it, I can wrap it round the pot, maybe just do a small overlap, maybe do a big overlap and then how do you fasten it? So I could stick on a, a bungee hook, you know, just wrap it round, elasticated cord aren't they? Or I could use something else. Now it doesn't have to be posh, it doesn't have to be really good to look at it just needs to be functional. So I've got some bits of Velcro. These came off bits of equipment throughout my career when I was installing network gear. Um, so I'm not quite sure to use these or something else. I might try with these and if they don't work, pull them off. I have got a massive big strip of Velcro somewhere or hook and eye or it. Velcro, it's like Hoover isn't it in the UK, they will call Hoover a vacuum cleaner because Hoover made the first one, all the popular ones. Uh, of course Dyson now, a lot of them, but anyway, never mind, Shark, whatever, there are different brands available. I want some Velcro and I haven't got it and it's in the house on a reel about that big because uh, then that big, it's a good load. Can I find it? No. Why? I've got too much junk in the house. I'll keep that, it might come in use sometime. 19 years later, it still might come in use sometime. So I've got a bit of a difficulty. It was hard to cut and I've messed it up, but it's only for the little part and I doubt I'll even use it. So I've tried my vacuum sealer okay try the old vacuum sealer thinking that might work um, I've done a test patch and it melts it it melts this, this foil so I can't use that so the, the ends open and I need to get that sealed um, I put some clamps on just to see try and hold it all together because it's like trying to herd flies this it's a nightmare so this is what I use in the shed it's aluminium foil it's insulation tape really um, so I'm just going to put a little bit on the bottom and see if I can just wrap it round. Uh, this stuff is not the most amazing stuff when you are working with a flexible material. So I actually doubt this is going to do any good. Uh, my only option after this is to use some gaffer tape, which uh, this is actually gas tape. Same sort of stuff. Uh, this bends, but it's, I don't know. I'm going to try with a piece of this first. Okay, there we go. This is a test, okay? Test piece. Right. 
Right, well, I've sort of done it. It's a bit rough and ready, but it is only the small pot and it's like a test. I forgot about the handles, haven't I? So I'm going to have to cut some little slots in it to fit the handles through. But other than that, it's got all right. It's, uh, it's really hard to cut, especially using kitchen scissors. Uh, well, they're out the kitchen. Uh, really hard to cut. So I might use a standing knife for this bit. Just go, uh, just cut, cut two slots in it. Other than that, I've used the gaffer tape, gas tape, whatever. Uh, it seems to be better. So uh, I'll do these slots now. Well, that looks pretty good. Quite happy with that. It's nice and tight. Uh, the handles uh, actually keep it on. I probably need to put some tape through there. Um, just need to finish this off now. Uh, which way? Which way? Might do it that way. So now we need some Velcro or something. So I've got some of this Velcro. Right, I'm just going to go for it. Uh, it's not sticking. Well, that's why there's no glue on the edge. Okay, so I need to put a bit of glue on there. That one's okay, that side. So, uh, yeah, just wrap it round. I think it could do with another couple of bits of uh, Velcro at the end just to hold it still. But that feels great. And of course, when I put the lid on, I'm worried that it might run down the sides, but we should be okay. Right, I'll put a bit of tape on the handles, and I think then we can almost call this quits. Well, we are viewers. Uh, I've just taped up the handles. Um, That should do it. I still need some more Velcro on here, don't I? Just to hold just the edges down, really. So I've got I've got this Velcro. Oh hell, it's joined itself together. Oh no! Oh blooming hell! Right. Oh gosh. So this bit I found. I don't know where it's off, but it's elasticated. Like that would have been great, you know, going round the middle, say, and holding it. Oh flipping heck! And I'll, oh god, they've mated again. Get off! Oh damn! <laughs> the, oh, they're not meant to be friends, these two. The, the other end is, uh, is well different, so I'm wondering if I should put a bit on the outside like that. I think that'd be quite good, actually. Right, I'll try that now. I don't know how I'm going to glue this on. This is not gluey on this side, it's no adhesive. Uh, I guess this is meant to go round something and I always got two gluey bits so I, I guess it should go round something that way might not use that uh, the other ones I've got as you just seen because we were fighting uh, is it's only one sided I don't know where the other side is right I'm gonna dig around in my pots in here I might have some more well, YouTubers, that's the first pot done. Okay, so it's it's really good insulation. This it's going to keep it well warm. So this is also uh, my boil kettle, uh, mash tun, and HLT, of course. Um, so what I've just done is uh, just use them little bits of Velcro. They do stick together eventually. 
Um, and then we've got the big one in the middle, which probably needs a little bit more glue down that edge, but I can sort that later. So, yeah, tight on there. Oh, the handle's in the way. Tight there. Tight there. That'll do it. Well, that's pot number one done. The little pot. I'm very happy with that. The insulation's good and thick and should really help. So I've now got to do pot number two, which is a bit bigger. Bring me the process alive. I've been dull for you. Right, this is very sticky. Right? So it's just a repeat process of what you just saw me do. Um, I'm not going to bore you with uh, filming it. So you shall see it on a future video, all wrapped up with its jacket. Mm, I don't think I'll do the lid. We'll just do the sides. Okay, well, that's it for another V blog. So this is Mark from Hove Dog Brewery, signing off. And as always, stay thirsty. Right, YouTubers, bit of an add-on or addendment, whatever. So I've got my new piece for the large part, so I've cut off from the large strip there. So this is it. Um, just using my phone for this. So the top part is basically no insulation, it's just the seal, so I'm going to fold that over. So it gives a nice edge and then at the bottom so this is the big pot um you can see a line and i added a few more inches it might just look straight but i think my line went a bit off to make a difference because i'm going to get this and i'm going to fold it up okay it's be quite hard one handed i'm going to fold it up so it'll give a nice edge nice edge there so it uh, if you want to the tape for this one i do have to take the end because it doesn't have a, it's not sealed, it looks like it has been, or it's just really chopped it off, I think. Anyway, this is a new piece, so uh, I shall crack on and make it into a nice piece. I've also found my um, Velcro, which was uh, on the very shelf I said it was, but it wasn't in a reel, it's in a box and a little bit of a strip. And here's my big brew pot with its nice jacket on. And there's the join. If I found my Velcro, the big strip. I might just put two bits on there actually, but uh, but that's it. I can't do up one handed. It's really thick, so it's just sort of sticking out from the top there. But it's uh tight as I can get it and it's doubled over at the bottom like I said so the bottom of the foil hasn't got to join so do that there is the join put the join on the inside so it looks better even though it doesn't really matter does it okay cheers youtubers